What's going on guys? Welcome to yet another Pi Game tutorial video. In this video what we're going to be doing is talking about how we can move our tank. So we have, um, currently we haven't hard coded anything, we've got all these variables basically. And now what we want to do is allow ourselves to move our tank. So uh, we have to, in order to modify these, these values, we could use global, but it's also just makes a whole lot of sense to take main tank X, main tank Y, um, and move those into our game loop. So I'm just going to cut those there, and we're going to come down to the game loop eventually. Where is it? There we go. And paste them right in there. Main tank X, main tank Y. Also, we're going to have a new variable, and that's going to be tank move. It's going to be a lot like the previous variable um, where we moved our snake, basically. So now what we need to do is whenever um, we move, like basically this is the while game over equals true. We're not doing that. This is the actual game loop. So remember we just like threw in all these paths. Um, instead of passing, now what we want to do is if the left key is pressed, then we want to do tank move um, equals negative 5. And then if the right key is pressed, tank move equals 5. Up and down, we'll just leave for now. And then finally, uh, this is our tank function. So under here, right before we call the tank function, we're just going to say um, main tank x plus equals um, the tank move. And that should be it as far as moving our tank around is concerned. So we've got our screen here. Play. Uh-oh. There, there we go. That's where I clicked it. And now we're able to move our tank around. And you can see, uh oh, we don't have uh, up functionality apparently. Or anything else. Why? I can't believe I can't stop the tank from moving. <laughs> um, 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 um. We do have clock tick, update, quit. Do we. Okay. It's weird that it wouldn't change because of the key down, key left, key right. Um, but we still want to have, um, let's see, I'm just a little curious why our tank continued to move even though we're hitting the other key. Okay, here we go. We've got a typo. <laughs> Amateur. <laughs> okay, so let's try that one more time. My team. Okay, cool. So now our tank moves, but if you recall when we built our snake game, we wanted the snake to always move, not just when the person was pressing keys, but basically uh, the keys would just change a direction. It wouldn't actually uh, be moving anything. So in this game, we might only just want to move our tank slightly because we're going to be like shooting arcs, basically. And so if you're playing somebody, um, they might move a little bit and you might move a little bit because if you stay in the same place and they miss a little bit, they're just going to make a tiny adjustment until they finally hit you. So you're going to want to move around every now and then. So um, you're going to want to be able to stop, though, because we're not currently able to stop. So what we're going to be doing in the next video is talking about how we can program in uh, stopping. So if you recall, we actually already did this with our snake game, and I challenge you to try to do it before we actually get to the video, but if you can't figure it out, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that in the next video. So anyways, that's it for this. After that, we're going to move the turret, and then probably after that, um, we'll talk about firing the turret, and then as well as, since our game is only so big, we'll probably add like a barrier or something to shoot over, something like that. Otherwise, everyone's just going to aim straight and poof, shoot at the other guy. So anyway, um, that's it for this video. Stay tuned to the next video. As always, thanks for watching.